Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of The Walking Dead Series 7.5 Cell Block Flu Walker. So, first time I actually heard it being called the Cell Block Flu Walker, I just thought it was called Flu Walker. And just got this from in the mail from Amazon, and just like the Rick I just got, it's uh, been up. So, if you care about the packaging, you might not want to order from Amazon. But I don't care because I'm going to open them up. But there he is. And there's the back. You can see Series 7 and also Series 7.5. Okay. Let's open this guy. Alright, so there he is. All opened up. And one thing that's a little different than the way I thought it would be is I thought this was Glenn's entire body and then just a new head and new hands added. But it's actually a different torso. You can see this one's like bent forward a little bit and there's a lot more wrinkles in the shirt and then up here around the collar it's different so it's not the same sculpt so that's cool and the neck too the neck's more of a zombie neck and Glenn's is more human looking so it looks like the sleeves are the same though I think that is Glenn's sleeves just painted differently and also it's the same legs but they did do some things that are different, like Glenn's got a holster on his leg, and this one he's just got like a pocket. And over here Glenn has a knife sheath, and this guy just has like some kind of belt strap thingy hanging off of him. So that's cool that he's not like the exact same body. There you can, there's something I can really tell you that's the same Glenn leg. Oh he has that strap right there. And the shoes, oh, he's got different shoes too. Glenn has them ribbed shoes and this guy does not. It looks more like Rick's shoes maybe. But I do like this zombie, he's pretty cool. It's kind of nice getting a zombie that's just like a regular zombie basically. I mean it is a flu walker so it is kind of a special gimmicky type walker but it still looks just like a plain old zombie instead of something crazy like the well walker or the bungee guts. So that's cool. This would be one of the walkers where maybe you can buy a bunch of them and modify them so you can make your horde bigger. That'd be awesome. I like his face, how he's got the really sunken in eyes. You can see they gave him the bleeding eyeballs. But I if he's bleeding a little bit more. But yeah, I really like the poses you can get him in. I mean, you can't do much too much with the legs, but the arms, the way his hands are, you can get him in some really good zombie poses. And his neck's poseable enough to get that crooked zombie head. And the hair's pretty good on him too. Remember for a while there, like they originally showed him like this and then they showed him with a goatee and then they removed the goatee, so I don't know what that was about. But I think he's cool. I like the paint. I really like the paint is around his neck and then the blood is down onto his shirt. It does look like his neck's a little bit different color than his face though. But oh well. I like the dried up blood coming out of his mouth. And I like the hands. The hands, the way they're sculpted, just look cool. Cool zombie grabbing hands. And even though these are Glenn's leg, you can still get them in like, some weird zombie positions. Yeah. So, I think he's really awesome. Yeah, there's another comparison to Glenn. Hey, buddy. And here he is next to the 7.5 series Rick. And I don't have Daryl yet, but I'm going to try to get him. I don't know. I think he's Walgreens exclusive, which sucks. <sighs> and articulation's pretty good at the hands. You can spin it around and make his hand go up. Like a zombie's grabbing at you, or just doing the... Whatever you would call that, that a zombie does all the time with their hand. And pretty good articulation at the elbows. You can even bend it backwards. And nice little shoulder articulation. But this is the Glenn figure, so the legs are limited. I mean, you can do this with the legs down here. That's pretty good, but they're limited up at the hip area. You can't do a whole lot up there. But still good enough. And he doesn't really spin too much at the hips, but he spins a little bit. Oh, and the head articulation is really good. So, articulation decent. So I'm pretty happy with this flu walker. I think he's really cool. I like the positions you can get him in, and I think I might even get at least one more just to make a custom one, because it'd be an easy body to do that with. And like I said, I got mine on Amazon, but the package was bent up. So if you care about that, you might know what to order from Amazon.
Well, this is Mr. Evil G's. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs> <coughs>